Welcome back to the JJW Sports Talk Show, where every fan is welcome. In today's episode, we're going to be predicting the Indianapolis Colts record. So, you know, I'm just going to go through each game, talking about each game a little bit. Um, you know, just a simple thing. It's not going to go too crazy and talk about anything. Just doing a simple rundown of the schedule, giving you my predictions, maybe my best scenario and the worst scenarios. So, yeah, let's get into, into predicting the Colts record. And real quick, before I do get into it, I just want to say thank you for tuning in to the JW Sports Talk Show. And if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I just did open up a, a Patreon page. So if you want exclusive content, make sure to go check that out. So let's get back into this video. So week one, Seattle Seahawks. You know, a really good um, team that's good early on, the Seahawks. And you know, they, they always come out hot. They always come out firing. And, you know, the, the Seahawks having a lot of good weapons, um, a really good quarterback, of course. Um, the offensive line isn't anything crazy, but, you know, it is a lot better than last year. Um, you know, the defense isn't really enough to scare me, if you ask me. Um you know, I just think that this Seahawks team is a very good team in the right spots. You know, they have a really awesome quarterback. They have a really good wide receiver core. And DK Metcalf, Lockett, Eskridge, they drafted him. And they have a few other guys in that position that can step up and make a play. Um, you know, and then at the offensive line, they did, they did make some improvements. Um you know, how much longer is that left tackle going to be? I, I, his name is on top of my head. I know he's a really good tackle. Something Browns, is Trent Brown. No, not Trent Brown. Um, I forgot his name, but, you know, he is a tackle on the Seahawks. He's really good. Um, you know, they get a guy like Cape Jackson, who's a decent guard. So, you know, they do have some people, but I still think they need more. You know, but I think they match up well against the Colts, um, you know, just because of their offense. And, you you know, the Colts do have good defense. And, you know, I think the Colts defense will be able to stop the Seahawks offense just enough. Just enough with that pass rush, making Russ Wilson run around like crazy. Um, keep them one-dimensional. I don't think they're going to be able to run very well against the Colts. So, you know, I think the Col Colts come out week one. And they break that week one curse against the Seattle Seahawks. Against a really hot team week one. That's just the kind of luck that the Colts have, you know, versus one of the best opening teams versus one of the worst opening teams. And the Colts are going to, I think they're going to come out with a win against the Seahawks. I think they match up well against them. Um, the Seahawks, you know, they match up well against each other. Um, you know, the Colts are really well around the team, um, you know, but the Seahawks, you know, they have enough firepower to keep themselves in any game. But I think the Colts defense could get a stop or two. While the Colts' offense could, you know, run well, um, I think they could. I think they're going to be able to pass. Okay, um, Seattle's corners don't really scare me. The only two players, there's only two players on the um, Seahawks defense that really gets you, and that's Adams and Wagner. So, you know, I think this is a team that we could beat. You know, especially at home, a home opener. So, I think we're going to beat the Seahawks week one. I think we're going to break that curse. Then week two, we're at home again. Against the Rams, you know that you know that's huge. Within the first two weeks, you know the first two weeks getting, you know, home games against opponents that are very far that we would have had to, had to travel very far to get to. So, you know that was that was an awesome schedule thing for the Colts. You know the Colts really haven't gotten awesome schedule stuff. You know they've rent, they get they've been getting screwed on primetime games, just whatever. You know ha having bad stretches, but you know that's part of the NFL. So you have to play through it, you know. So I think, you know, week two against the Rams, I think the Rams are going to beat the Colts. You know, Colts are a good team. The Rams are a good team. But I think the Rams, you know, they're going to match the Stafford. That defense is going to show out. Um, I think they are going to be able to run a little bit. I think this may be a time where our, where our edge rush is going to, you know, struggle a bit. Um, you know, they may struggle a little bit in week one. But, you know, the versus a better offense line in the Rams, I think that's – I think this head rush is going to have a hard time for how young it is. Um, nonetheless, a really good run stopper, a run stop defense. So, you know, maybe they won't be able to run as well. So they may be one dimensional. So if we do make them one dimensional, that's our chance. Um, but, you know, that defense is really good. As we know, they have Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald, Darius Williams on the outside. Um, 
you know, they have a really good defense. You know, they did lose some pieces. They did lose Brandon Staley to the Chargers. That's big. But, you know, no, nonetheless, I think the Rams are going to beat the Colts in week two, week three at the Tennessee Titans. I think we go to the Titans, and I think we lose. And I think we lose to the Titans. Um, you know, a really good Titans team, a really good Colts team. As we all know, the Titans did just acquire Julio Jones from the Atlanta Falcons. Um, you know, really good team. You know, they their, their offense line is better than you think. Um, of course, you have Derrick Henry, A.J. Brown, um, Ryan Tannehill, Julio Jones, the newly acquired Julio Jones. He's going to be scary good just because of all the attention taken off of him. Um, you know, this this Titans team just offensively is enough to scare you, but defense, it's not. Um, if you ask me, you know, they do have a decent pass rush. Their pass rush is underrated, if you ask me. Jeffrey Simmons, I think he's a breakout candidate. Um, you have Bud Dupree, who, ha who had a really good year last year, but did suffer the... It, the ACL tear. Um, you have Danico Asher from the Colts, who is kind of, you know, an inconsistent guy, but nonetheless, he gets the job done. And especially playing the Colts, he's going to be motivated. So I think the Colts go into Tennessee, and, and I think they lose the first game versus Tennessee. Week four against the Dolphins, I'm going to say we take another loss here against the Dolphins. Um, you know, really good Dolphins team, but, you know, that defense and m m you know, it kind of depends on when Carson Wentz is going to get going. You know, is Carson Wentz going to be going by now? Is he going to be knowing his, his receivers well? He has a good chance to know his receivers well, but nonetheless, I think this Dolphins team may, may get to the Colts a little bit, and I think we take a loss at the Dolphins. Um, you know, and then we go to Baltimore for a primetime game on Thursday night. I think we beat Baltimore. Um, so, yeah, not not a great such stretch to start so far. You know, one and three. Not a great stretch. Um, we could go two and two. Maybe we do beat the Titans. Maybe we do beat the Dolphins. Um, maybe we do beat the Rams. Um, so we, we, we could go 4-0. Or we could go 0-4. The start's going to be brutal. It is. It's going to be brutal. And, you know, it's going to prepare us for the playoffs later on. So, week five versus the Baltimore Ravens. We go into Baltimore and we beat the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. Um, you know, and then we come back home and we play the Texans. And I think we're going to beat the Texans. Um, you know, I don't think the Texans really have too much. Um, you know, if Deshaun Watson plays, maybe um, they have a better chance. You know, they do have Brendan Cooks, who is a really decent weapon. They have some really good running backs. Um, the offensive line is okay. It's nothing crazy. Um, you know, a really good team nonetheless. Um or no, not a really good team, sorry, but, um, you know, a team that could give the Colts some problems if Watson is playing. If Watson doesn't play, I think the Colts, I think this is a win for the Colts easily. Um, I, I, I just think the Colts are a much more well-rounded team than the Texans. Um, and, the, and, and then the Niners on Sunday Night Football, um, I'm going to have us beating the Niners. You know, now I have us going on a bit of a win streak. You know, I think we, I, I really think we could beat the Niners, um, you know, Really good team, really good, well balanced team. They have decent defense, good pass rush. Um, you know the, the the offense is not enough to scare me yet. Um, the offensive line is really good, um, and the running backs are really good, and Kyle Shanahan is really good, um, which makes everyone in that system much better just because of Kyle Shanahan. And you know, just a really good team over there in San Fran. Um, we're at San Fran Sunday night, of course. Um, I think we beat them. Whether it's Trey Lance or Jimmy G, I think we could beat either quarterback. Um, I think we could limit Trey Lance's running ability, and we'd have to make him beat beat us with his arm. Maybe he could, maybe he can't. But that that that's what Sunday night's foot. It's gonna be on Sunday night football, national television. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, you know I'm not scared of Jimmy Garoppolo either. Um, he can't really run. Um, you know I'm I'm, I'm not scared of his arm to be honest with you. So you know so you know I have us going on a little win streak here. Um. You know, I had a start in, what, one and three. Now I have his two and three, three and three, four and three. Um, and then and then we're at home again after being on the road at, to San Francisco playing the Tennessee Titans. Do we beat the Tennessee Titans? I think we beat them at home. You know, yeah, they do have all those weapons. But the second time around, we're going to be ready for the Titans. You know, 
we're going to see them first time. We're going to change our game plan a little bit. We're going to have to. Um, you know, I think we can limit Julio Jones. I don't think I don't think we can stop this offense. But, you know, I, I think Carson will be going by this time, maybe. So I think we'll be able to keep up. I think we'll be able to, you know, put some points on the board. And I think we will beat the Tennessee Titans the second time around. So that's four games in a row. And then the next game at home, we have, I believe, is a Thursday night or Monday night game, but I forget. I forgot which one. But you know, I think we beat the New York Jets. Yeah. A really good team. The New York Jets are a really good, improved team, if you ask me. You know, they have some weapons now. They have a decent quarterback. Um, you know, is he going to be going by this time? Probably. Is he going to be starting? Absolutely. He's going to be starting week one, Zach Wilson. Um, you know, the offense line is starting to improve a little more. Um, tight ends don't really scare me. Um, defense, you know, I'm not really scared of defense. Um, as we know, CJ Mosley is going to be back. Um, Quentin Williams. Um, their secondary, I'm not scared, of, but you, you know, but I do the, I do like their safety, Quandre Diggs, uh, Marcus May. I do really like their secondary. Um, you know, just really, you know, solid an upcoming team, but I don't think they're going to beat this well-rounded Colts team. And then we go to, and then uh, actually we're staying home for Jacksonville to beat the. No, we're going to lose the Jaguars the first time around Week Ten. I think we're going to lose to the Jaguars. If you ask me, the first time, you know, we're, we're on a hot streak, you know, I, and I think we're going to take a little loss here. That's okay. Because um, next week, I have us going to Buffalo, and I have us beating Buffalo. Um, you know, a really good Buffalo team that this team is going to be hungry to come back and get a win against, you know, in the playoff game. As we know, we came really close to beating the Bills. You know, we we were close. It was a really close game, a lot closer than a lot of people anticipated. Um, the thing that happened was it was little things that got the Colts. You know, young team dropping, dropping passes. Um, you know, just doing the small things wrong. Um, but that's where we're going to come back this time, and I think we're going to beat the Bills this time. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game, but yeah, I think now, as we saw in the playoff game, you know, the pass rush we didn't really have. You know, a good edge rush to really contain Josh Allen enough. You know, Josh Allen ran, ran around as much as he could back there, as much as he wanted. Um, so, you know, us having that, you know, contained now with some more edge rush, maybe, you know, the, the edge rush will be warmed up by now as well, will help against Josh Allen. So I think we will beat the Bills at Buffalo. Then we go home, and then I say we lose to Tampa Bay. Yeah, Tampa Bay is one of the best teams in the league, if not the best. Obviously, just winning the Super Bowl. Um, they don't have any weaknesses. So it's just a really bad matchup for the Colts, if you ask me. Um, you know, maybe the Colts do. I don't think the Colts will be able to run on them. Um, you know, yeah, we very well could run on them, but it's not going to be easy. So, you know, saying that I, that I don't think the Colts can run on them, that's false. That's wrong. But, you know, I think the Colts can run on them. But will Carson Wentz be able to pass against them? We don't know. And then, and then we have Week 13 at the Tex at the Houston Texans. Not gonna spend too much time on this one again. You know, I think the Texans are you know a young team, but you know they do have a lot of work to get done. You know, if Watson plays, like I said earlier, if, if Watson plays, they have a much better chance of beating the Colts once or twice. I don't think they're gonna sweep them with Watson. With or without Watson, I don't think they're gonna sweep them. Without Watson, I don't think they're going to beat us once. Um, you know, so I have this one, and that I'm not going to spend too much time on that one. Week 14, the bye. I really like that late bye week. You know, these past few years, we've gotten like week six, week seven, you know, really early bye weeks, which kind of sucked. But, you know, now we're getting a late bye week. And if you've seen a pattern with these last few years, week 14 bye week, that team, one of those teams has went on and won the Super Bowl. Yeah, it's crazy. Have Or at least have been to the Super Bowl. It's crazy. Um, just a little, you know, something to throw, to throw in there. Um, you know, so having that that late bye week, helping us get healthy in the most important stretch in the year is extremely important, which is awesome. Um, and then we come out of our bye week. We're going to, the time is to be declared. It's not, there's no prime time set or whatever for this yet. So, 
I have us coming out of the bye week and beating the Patriots. As we know, Frank Reich is amazing out of the bye week, so I think he's going to come out of the bye week, and I think this team is going to come out of the bye week hungry. And I think we're going to beat the Patriots. Week 16, at the Arizona Cardinals, which is a Christmas game, which is actually awesome. So happy this is a Christmas game. Um, You know, I think we're going to go go to Arizona, and I think, and I think we're going to beat Arizona. I think we're going to, you know, go to Arizona. I'm not as high on the Cardinals as many people are, you know. If we could keep Kyler Murray in the pocket, which is much easier said than done, we could very well beat this Cardinals team. Kyler Murray struggles in the pocket big time, man. Big time. It's when he gets out of the pocket is when he's dangerous, of course, with his running ability, with all that. But I'm not scared of the running backs, James Conner. I'm not scared of him. I'm not scared of Chase Edmonds. Um, the offensive line isn't too much to scare me. It is decent, but I don't think it's enough to stop the Colts. Um, so, you know, I think we're going to beat the Cardinals, of course. Um, I think we could run on them. I think we're going to be able to pass on them. Um, I'm just not really scared of this Cardinals team, if you ask me. Um, I think our offense line will be able to handle their front, even though the front is extremely talented. Um, of course, Eric Fisher will most likely be healthy by now. Um, so I think our front will be able to handle them. I think we'll be fine versus the Cardinals. I think we'll beat the Cardinals. Week 17. At home versus the Las Vegas Raiders. I think we beat the Raiders. Um, you know, as you see, we're going on a streak again. Um, I think we beat the Raiders. And, you know, I think, yeah, I think the Raiders are really, really well put together team. But, you know, they're still really young. And, you know, it's kind of a team that's well put together. But they have a lot of potential, and you're kind of relying on all that potential, and that's you know not always a great a great thing, you know, a lot of unknown in that Raiders team. So you know by now they're they are going to have some things figured out. But I still think this Colts team is better than the Raiders, whether they have things figured out or not. I think our pass rush will get through that through that offense line, um, and then we go on to the Jacksonville, and and we get a revenge, and we beat the Jaguars. So, you know, a really, really good stretch to end the season, which is really good. Um, even though Trevor Lawrence is a really good quarterback, I was losing to him the first time around. Um, but a really good team nonetheless, really young team with a lot of potential. Um, really good offense. The offense is enough to scare any team. Um, you know, Trevor Lawrence, Travis, James, Robinson, um, Chark, LaVisca, um, you know, they have a lot of really talented guys. Um, they also have, what's his name, they drafted. Um, I know they just drafted someone else, a, a, a receiver. I know they have someone else, but it's just off the top of my head. Oh, no, they do have Marvin Jones. They didn't draft him, but, you know, they signed him. Um, I forgot. I know they have someone else who was really good. But, you know, nonetheless, a really good Jaguars team. But I think the second time around, we're ready. And I think we beat the Jaguars the second time around. Um, so, you know, really, really good year. Um, you know, I have a, just to recap. Beating Seattle, losing to the Rams, losing to the Titans, losing to the Dolphins. So, one and three start. Not so good. But then, we go on a little streak. You know, we beat a team like the Ravens to go to two and three. Beat a team like the Texans and the Niners to go four and three. Then we beat the Titans and Jets. Five and three, six and three. And then we take a loss versus the Jaguars. Six and four. And then we beat the Bills, seven and four. Then, of course, we're going to lose to the Buccaneers, seven and five. And then we're going to, you know, finish the year out with wins, eight and five, nine and five, ten and five, eleven and five, twelve and five ahead of us going, which is, you know, probably the best case. It's probably the best case scenario, um, you know, that may be a little high. Um, you know, it really depends on Carson Wentz. You know, if Carson Wentz plays awesome, the Colts are going to be awesome. If he doesn't play awesome, the Colts are probably going to be okay. They're not going to be crazy. They're going to, you know, be okay. Um, you know, it's all on Carson Wentz. That's what the thing is. Big story, big storyline. And, you know, the worst case scenario, say maybe, say maybe we do lose the Seahawks game and the curse continues. Um, maybe we do lose the Ravens to the Ravens. Um, you know, maybe we do get swept by the Titans. Um, maybe we do lose to the Bills as well. Maybe we lose to the Patriots, the Cardinals. Um, maybe we get upset by, you know, maybe the Jets. Um, you know, a lot of possibilities. Um, so, you know, it, 
It's either going to be a really good or really bad year. Um, I don't think there's really going to be an un, un in between. So that'll, that's my schedule predictions for the Indianapolis Colts in 2021. Let me know what you guys think. I thank you guys for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show. And if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. That's it for this video. So as always, give me a hell yeah.